Tri-County Humane Society Companion Walk is one of our most important fundraisers of the year. It's also probably one of the most fun fundraisers of the year. We generally have 300 people and up to 200 dogs. Uh, raise over $50,000. We just couldn't do what we do already at the Humane Society if we didn't have this fundraiser. I first became aware of the Humane Society back in the early 1980s. I was doing wildlife rehabilitation and I thought, hey, this kind of goes hand in hand with the animal shelter because I'm sure they get dozens and hundreds of phone calls. And so I was doing wildlife rehabilitation and made the connection. I came here to the Companion Walk today to see cool people and pet cool dogs and help raise money and work. I do registration and the prize lists and things like that and it's, it's, it's fun. It's absolutely great. Louis, sit. Good. Good boy. We have several people that sponsor this, not just people but organizations and companies that sponsor it, which help us pay for the t-shirts which we give everyone and some of the prizes. The grand prize, of course, is what everybody's trying for. It's a five mile walk with an option of a two and a half mile walk. We leave from Wilson Park and then we go to Riverside and there's a bus at Riverside. So if someone doesn't want to walk the whole route, and some people shouldn't and some older dogs shouldn't either, so they can catch the bus at Riverside. When they come back, they can check and see what prizes they won and they can have something to eat here. And it's just a good time. We're, we have a pet expo part of it where we have lots of vendors here telling people about their businesses. Most of them, of course, are animal related. We have games going on for both kids and animals. A lot of the dog games are for retrievers or who can run the fastest and who can catch the treat the furthest away, things like that. And there's games for kids too because we want this to be kind of a party event and we want everyone to feel welcome. Whether they walk or not, we'd like them to come down and just join in the festivities. Louie, spin. Good boy. It is so neat to see where we are now compared to where we started. Uh, when I first became uh, involved with the Humane Society, it was a little retired gas station on Lincoln Avenue and it flooded every spring and we put sandbags out to try and keep the water at bay, but the animals were still loved. And now we have a beautiful shelter that um, shows that those animals are still loved. <laughs> I've uh, been involved with the Humane Society about five or six years. I uh, got involved uh, with the Society after moving to St. Cloud and uh, been a long time animal lover and, and uh, was looking for an outlet, uh, some way to contribute to the community and obviously this matched up well and after seeing how committed um, Vicki and all the other volunteers and, and uh, people that work at the Humane Society were and seeing how well it was run, I knew uh, that's where I wanted to to be plugged in, so that's how I get involved.